With strange and unique designs, these helicopters are able to achieve speeds not possible for other aircraft. So, let's take a look at the 15 fastest helicopters ever made. Number 15, Boeing AH-64 Apache. Now, this may be the slowest helicopter on our list, but this certainly doesn't mean that it's the three-toed sloth of the helicopter world. With a built-in ability to cruise at 165 miles per hour, the Apache can fly as fast as 183 miles an hour if the situation demands it, which essentially means it can pretty much make every other helicopter on the planet eat its dust. Well, apart from the next 14 we're going to mention, obviously. This helicopter was also a lot faster than anything Russia was producing at the time, and that's precisely why it was developed. Before Apache, Russian helicopters were making British and US helicopters look like a bunch of flying snails by comparison, which was a worrying state of affairs, and so the Apache was born. Since then, it's been famously used in conflicts around the world, particularly in Afghanistan, where Taliban soldiers found the appearance of the Apache in the sky even more menacing than a tank suddenly appearing on the horizon. And being more deadly than a tank is one hell of a reputation to build for yourself. Number 14, Mil Mi-26. On the topic of Russia, our next entry is the nation's largest helicopter, which is impressive enough in itself, before you even consider its speed. Given its size, you'd think that the Mi-26 wouldn't be as speedy as a lot of the other helicopters on this list, but you'd be wrong. Even when the Mi-26 is completely full of cargo, it's still one of the fastest helicopters in the world, which is amazing, really. It's basically like the fattest man in the world winning an Olympic gold for the 100-meter sprint. But there's a reason for this incredible speed. Because the Mi-26 was designed to have such a heavy payload, it needed to produce a lot more thrust than other helicopters in order for it to be able to get off the ground. And thrust equals speed. In other words, the Mi-26 is not only capable of carrying 20,000 kilograms of cargo, but can also travel at speeds of up to 158 miles per hour while it's doing it. That's the equivalent of carrying 90 fully equipped soldiers. Well, the Mi-26 may now be over 40 years old, but there's no midlife crisis in sight for this helicopter. There are still a large amount of active orders for the Mi-26 from some of the largest militaries in the world. And interest and admiration in the Mi-26 doesn't stop there. There are many civilian operators as well, who are no doubt attracted by the same two qualities that make it so appealing to the militaries. And I'm sure you're pretty much going to need a lot of thrust when you're carrying well-fed billionaires around all day. Number 13, NH Industries, NH-90. Designed to cover several different vital roles, the NH-90 can be used for a variety of things, not least of which as a medium-haul cargo and troop transport helicopter. And just look at it. It does actually exactly look like the kind of thing you'd see in a Hollywood war movie, descending from above like a mechanical guardian angel and taking several wounded troops to safety. Like its slightly slower brother, the Mi-26, it was essential for the NH-90 to produce enough thrust to take off with several tons of weight on board, resulting once more in one seriously fast chopper. And despite having a shorter range than other helicopters, the NH-90 can fly at 190 miles per hour. It was designed in collaboration between some of Europe's major helicopter manufacturers. The NH-90 is not only frequently used by NATO, but also 13 countries in 19 military branches. And I know we're repeating ourselves here, but just look at it. It is just cool. Number 12, Mil Mi-28. Now the problem with creating the Apache as an answer to Russia's many seriously fast helicopters is that the Russians were likely to take one look at it and say, well, we'll just make something faster than that then. After all, there is historically a tiny bit of rivalry between Russia and the US. Besides which, the Russians managed to keep up perfectly well with the space race and the nuclear arms race. So it was unlikely they'd look at the Apache and shrug their shoulders and say, oh well, better give up then. One of their two answers to the Apache was the Mi-28, one of the fastest helicopters in the world, which resembles the Apache in several ways, but is superior in many others. For example, the Mi-28 travels 5 kilometers an hour faster than the Apache at 270 per hour, which might not seem like a lot, but it still must have seriously annoyed the Apache's temporarily proud designers. This helicopter has also been around for about four decades now, but it's still used extensively by many facets of the military, not least the Russian and Algerian Air Forces and Iraqi Army Aviation. 
And why are they still using 40-year-old helicopters, you might ask? Well, that's because nothing better than the Mi-28 has yet been designed. It's a classic ahead of its time. Number 11, Kamov Ka-52. Russia's second impressive answer to the Apache was designed to be a long-range scout and attack helicopter, so speed was about as vital as a credit card is to a Kardashian. For the Ka-52, Kamov basically took ingredients from every helicopter it had produced up to that point, added a few herbs and spices, mixed everything up in a huge pot, and this incredibly fast beast was the result. Developed in conjunction with IAI, one of the features borrowed from an earlier design was the coaxial double rotor, which was transplanted from the Ka-32. Considered by many to be a particularly weird way to design an aircraft, this nevertheless helps to give the helicopter its mind-melting ability to cruise at 170 miles per hour. But that's just peanuts compared to how fast the Ka-50 can go if you really need to push it it can potentially fly at speeds of over 186 miles per hour, although it does degrade the service life of the helicopter. So if you do feel like taking your personal Ka-52 out for a very fast spin, then it might be worth only doing it in short bursts. Number 10, Augusta Westland AW-139. We've dwelt quite a lot on military helicopters so far in this list, so let's forget about machines of war for a while and move on to the fastest non-military helicopter in the world. When separate companies Augusta and Westland decided to join forces, after both having great success designing VIP helicopters, the AW-139 was the impressive result, and it's become incredibly popular. Since it was first produced, the AW-139 has been used by billionaires, airlines, news crews, governments. Basically, if a company or individual has money to burn and doesn't want to travel by road like the rest of us mere mortals, then the AW-139 would be an obvious purchase. Not only can it seat a large group of people, meaning you can hold private air parties for all your equally rich friends, but it's also ridiculously fast, hence its inclusion on this list. Once again, a large amount of thrust is needed to justify the potential weight of the passengers, which means that the AW-139 can cruise at 191 miles per hour, with a maximum speed of 200 miles per hour if you really want to put the pedal to the metal. Number 9. Augusta Westland AW-101 – Merlin We've all heard of Merlin, right? King Arthur, the Sword in the Stone, the Knights of the Round Table. He was an integral part of British history. When it came to the AW-101 Merlin, however, it was history that the British military were trying to get away from. During the 1980s, the UK realized that helicopters used by the RAF, Royal Navy, and Army weren't exactly at the cutting edge of technology, and decided to set up a design competition to see what various companies could suggest. And that's when our old friend the dynamic duo Augusta and Westland enter the picture, with their submission, the AW-101, later to be known as Merlin. Augusta Westland eventually won the contract, of course, in no small part because they managed to come up with a helicopter that could wear two different hats. You see, the Royal Navy needed an anti-submarine helicopter, fast enough to catch those pesky underwater tin cans, and the RAF needed a utility helicopter, strong enough to carry heavy loads. So Augusta Westland designed something with a fuselage that was much bigger than on many helicopters at the time. Once again, they focused on emphasizing that all-important thrust, solving both issues in one fell swoop. Ultimately, the AW-101 Merlin could cruise at 173 miles per hour, but could go as fast as 192 miles per hour if you had a particular need for speed. Number 8. Mill Mi-35 The Mi-35 worked upon by Mikhail Mill himself. That's right, the man who put the mill in Mill Mi-35. He was involved with the design just before his death, and for a man in the helicopter designing trade, this incredible creation was surely a fitting epitaph. As a variant of the popular Mi-8, the Mi-35 was designed to be used as a troop carrier, gunship, and attack helicopter, along with many other wide and varied applications, which is why it's become one of the go-to helicopter designs for multiple countries across the globe. And guess what? In order to fill all of these roles, Mill had to design this thing with, you guessed it, a lot of thrust. Because as we've already learned, thrust equals speed, and this bad boy is the fastest helicopter in Russia's military fleet flying at 200 miles per hour, which leaves the other mill designs we've mentioned waiting at the starting line, eating its dust. Number 7. 
Augusta Westland AW159 Wildcat. The AW159 Wildcat is based on another entry on our list, the Lynx, which preceded it. So as you can tell, Augusta Westland clearly have a thing about fast, predatory cats. We can only assume that they're saving the word cheetah for the fastest helicopter they'll ever make. On that note, maybe their slowest helicopter should have an equally fitting name. Garfield, perhaps. Like many of the helicopters mentioned on this list, the AW-159 was designed to carry out a series of roles, but just like its older brother, the Lynx, it was widely used in a search and rescue capacity. Once again, this helicopter was developed for the British military, who needed an aircraft that could travel a serious distance in a short amount of time. Basically, it was designed to save lives, whether that might be civilians, downed pilots, or anyone else that might need help from above. Despite being the helicopter that replaced the Lynx, however, the Wildcat is significantly slower, although it's still able to achieve speeds of 193 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Of course, otherwise, it certainly wouldn't be on this list of ours. Number 6. Boeing CH-47 Chinook Despite having the same name as a breed of dog, the Chinook isn't the kind of helicopter to lie around in front of the fire and have its belly scratched. No, no, no. This helicopter is so popular that it's used for both civilian and military purposes, and is the only one of two aircraft to have been produced for more than half a century. This is because the Chinook is designed to carry some incredibly heavy loads, including Land Rovers, tanks, and even other aircraft. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Loads and loads of thrust. In fact, the Chinook produces more thrust than any other helicopter on our list, or in the entire world for that matter. As with other helicopters, using the Chinook at full throttle will degrade its life. But that doesn't change the fact that it can cruise at 180 miles per hour and can push itself to 193 miles per hour. And maybe I need to get out a bit more, but I've certainly never seen a Chinook dog doing that kind of speed while it's out running around in the park. Number 5. Sikorsky UH-60 And now we move on to one of the fastest and most famous military helicopters ever produced. The UH-60 can cruise at 170 miles per hour with potential speeds of up to 192 miles per hour, although this isn't as detrimental to its life as smoking 294 cigarettes a day would be to yours. Designed for the U.S. Army, who wanted a helicopter that could double as an aircraft for both cargo and troop transport, the UH-60 was not only faster than any other aircraft in its category, but also had more maneuverability, which is in part due to the fact that it was based on one of Sikorsky's civilian aircrafts, the S-70. It's also known as the Black Hawk, and you can just imagine this thing swooping down out of the clouds with its wings spread, only to devour some poor mouse who was unlucky enough to be visible at the time. Well, maybe not. As far as I'm aware, helicopters are not carnivorous. Number 4. Westland Lynx From predatory birds, we're going to move flawlessly onwards to predatory cats. Remember the Lynx helicopter we mentioned earlier? Well, it's taken our number 4 spot. Not only was this the inspiration for many helicopters that came after it, including our number 7, the AW-159 Wildcat, and the failed VIP transport helicopter, the Westland 30, but it's still loved and admired by helicopter nuts the world over. Westland originally envisioned the Lynx as both a military and civilian aircraft, and it was designed with that purpose in mind. Ultimately, however, the military wasted no time in seeing this helicopter's potential and decided it was far too good to simply carry VIPs around all day. Due to it having a cruising speed of 201 miles per hour, the Lynx was soon being used for search and rescue purposes and for 46 years managed to hold the title of fastest helicopter in the world. Number 3. Eurocopter X3 would you look at this crazy thing? Well, don't be fooled. The Eurocopter X3 might look slightly unconventional, and you might even think that it looks like something that's come out of a child's toy box. But looks can be deceiving. And when it came to designing the Eurocopter X3, breaking conventions was very much at the heart of what the designers were trying to achieve. In fact, they basically looked at the conventions of normal helicopters and spat on them and laughed. Everything on the X3 was approached in a different way to the established methods. The amount of times the rotor rotated per minute was reduced by around 15% rather than increased, and two stabilizing propellers were placed on either side of the fuselage for speed, stability, and to reduce drag. 
All of these weird and wonderful innovations resulted in the Eurocopter X3 having a maximum cruising speed of 253 miles per hour and a maximum speed of 293 miles per hour, as long as the owner or pilot didn't mind taking the X3's service life in their hands. Number two, Sikorsky X2. The Sikorsky X2 could be described as the fastest helicopter on Earth, but you're probably wondering why we use the phrase could be. Well, wait until you see what we've put at number one, and then you can decide whether you agree with us or whether you violently disagree. It's a contentious subject. Luckily, they're both made by the same company, so it's certainly not a big deal for Sikorsky. In fact, their CEO is probably rubbing his hands together with glee as he lies back on a massive pile of money and drinks wine from a golden chalice. The X-2 first came into being after the U.S. military launched something called the Future Vertical Lift Program to replace their aging helicopters, and the X-2 was Sikorsky's design for it. Using a coaxial double rotor along with a propeller at the back of the fuselage to reduce drag, the X-2 can reach speeds of 290 miles per hour and has been developed into the Boeing Sikorsky SB-1 Defiant and Sikorsky S-97 Raider, both of which are widely used. Number one, Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. Number one on our list might be a controversial choice for some, as it's not really a helicopter at all. So why on earth is it on this list at all, we hear you cry? Well, okay, you might have a point, but on the other hand, the V-22 is a tilt rotor, which means that while it's not technically a helicopter, it does transform into one. That's right, this might be the kind of thing you'd usually only expect to see in a Transformers movie, but it is true. The V-22 takes only 12 seconds to change from an airplane into a helicopter. When it's an airplane, it can cruise at 351 miles per hour, and its fastest recorded speed is 316 miles per hour. Despite crashing more than any other aircraft, which certainly isn't a great selling point, the V-22 is nevertheless very popular with the U.S. military, not to mention the Japanese armed forces who've recently ordered a fleet of their own. But the question remains, is it a helicopter? So what do you think? The number one spot may belong to a number one or number two on our list, depending on how strongly you feel about aviation, but we're not gonna get involved. Please argue amongst yourselves in the comments section. Watch our vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.